how do you incorporate this into your life? There's probably a lot of ways you can do that. I'll tell you what I do. I know what Dr. Mills does, and, um, and we'll talk about maybe some other ways to do that too. Um, I would say get on the daily juicing habit. That's what I would call it, right? Anything that's going to be beneficial to your health long term has to be a habit type of thing. If you do it for a month, great, better than never doing it, but you're not, is it going to show up in you living longer? Is it going to show up in you being really healthy long term? Probably not. It has to be stuff that you can, you can do every day the rest of your life, and you can say, yeah, I could do that. That's easy. That's fun. There's no problem. I could do that. If it's that way for you, you'll, get, you'll be healthier. You'll be able to do it the rest of your life. You'll be like Jack O'Lane doing it on the infomercial when you're 86 years old or whatever there. Um, so when do I do that personally? I usually most often do it in the morning. So I wake up, and these days, even if I, a lot of times I don't actually eat uh, a full meal of solid food. A lot of times I'll, I'll actually kind of replace a meal with juice. Um, I didn't always do that. I've done that a lot more recently. That's one way to do it. You have a certain time of day, your breakfast, your whatever, and, and you juice, and you make that a habit that you do every day. Um, so that second point there, you can drink juice instead of a meal, so you can use it kind of like a meal replacement. Maybe people have done shakes or powders or smoothies or things before. You can use it like that. Um, and we'll talk about how much you need to, to do to actually be able to do that and quite quell your appetite and, and get enough and all that type of stuff. Um, for people who really have some serious health issues, whether that's bad arthritis, whether that's bad skin conditions, whether it's extreme constipation, um, whatever it is, doing a more extended, what they would call a juice fast, where you're not really fasting from nutrients in the body, um, you are just fasting from solid foods and you use juice maybe for every meal, maybe every day, maybe for a period of time, days to weeks. Um, those things can be very beneficial in letting the body start to break down all the accumulation of stuff that's got in there over the years, start to expel it, and then, and then you'll, you'll feel much better. So um, I'm not really going to go into much on that tonight. You can, you can read books on juice fasting. They're out there. Type it into Amazon, type it into Google, you can find them. Um, and they're good, and it's, it's a very effective way to do stuff. It's very safe. You'll be putting enough into the body that you, you, can, you can do that for an extended period of time. You could do it long term, that's not really the idea um, that I'm talking about, but um, for a period of time, that's a possibility there. Um, so, yeah, that goes over those points there.